Today we're checking out Mortal Sin. This is a game with 97% overwhelmingly positively rated Steam reviews. It is a first-person dungeon crawler action roguelike. Man, that is a mouthful. Uh, it does have an intriguing art, st uh, art style. Very stylistic, very cool, and very immersive to play. We'll be starting a new game in a second, but I, I just wish to preface this all with this game is very hard. I will die a lot. There is not a ton of meta progression, uh, and it is challenging. We're going to die, uh, it merits saying multiple times, we will die a lot. Uh, but we will unlock a few things as we go. We are going on a quest for absolution through several dungeons. We're going to start off, you start off with a struggler class, although I don't think it's that much fun to play as, it's just sort of like a normal class. Uh, you get a bit of a combo multiplier, you become invincible for a bit, but all the other classes do that. The monk is cool, but I don't think it's very strong. The paladin is very survivable. Uh, the berserker is sweet, but I die a lot as it. The reaper is great. Uh, but the mage might be my personal favorite, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, there are several zones to this game. We're going to be casting spells and such. I do believe this is a solo dev, right? I've played about three hours, but... Yeah, the, um... You know, I gotta say that I'm a fan more of the roguelikes where you really gotta start off from scratch every run. Like, I enjoy the brutal difficulty. I think that's part of... I think that's part of what's satisfying and motivating, is becoming just a little bit overpowered in each run. We're in the starting area right here, like the main hub, uh, and this is our wizard staff. We can't jump. Uh, there are, like, certain weird ways that you can jump, but yeah, we'll be going through as a few different classes. There's a quick discussion of the controls. The main things you need to know are, like, get through an enemy's shield block with shift, though I just pretty much use this as a sprint. There is the strike command. Uh, what else? Okay, I guess that's put away my... Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I could go unarmed. You can use your ability, which we can turn off time right now. We're going to just fight this... I guess it's just like an NPC that just does nothing here. We can use our swing attack. So this is good for getting gr through multiple enemies at once. Uh, but this game is, like, brutal. It is... It is pretty violent, honestly. Uh, and... I like that. I, I needed to get something out of my system, I think. So, I'm gonna go, like... I'm not gonna make any promises or intentions, because this is a very difficult game. I, I'll probably have a hard time looking back at chat for much of this. Uh, so, you're on your own. Behave yourselves, folks. Um, and also, we got those new AAE uh, subscription emotes. Uh, or actually stream notifications on the side by the fantastic artist known only as Y4. So, shout out to Y4. Um, but yeah, uh, they're like very cool and you will see if, if there is like pixel art on the side. Um, I think he did a really good job. But anyway, you're seeing some of our magical abilities uh, take place right here. All of the enemies are... All of the regular ones are blue. I'm gonna go ahead and just stop time for a second. I'm really not playing too well yet because I'm trying to explain everything. I've still got a lot to get through. We're trying to like activate these. Ooh, I did that too soon. We're trying to activate these like floor um, signposts or whatever you would call them. Sigils? I'm not really sure. Like runes, maybe runes is the word I'm looking for. But every dungeon, uh, well, I, I guess it must be like procedural generation right here. Not, I never seem to use that term protect, uh, correctly, but random. No, I mean, they do seem to be random enough for me. They're good enough for me, that is to say. But basically, you're going to all these like waypoints, these touchstones. Ah, that was the word I was looking for. Um, I'm just like really quickly eyeballing some of these. Okay, I don't really like the spectral mace you start with, so I'm just going to take different types of weapons. Um, so what is the special ability on this one? We have a vo Volatile Hellfire of Brutality. Uh, enemies may explode on death, or successful blocks freeze the attacker. I think I'm actually going to take that, just so that we can go from a, a block into an attack. That is a very nice, like, defense into attack strategy for this game. Um, we have better armor than this. You have to make a lot of quick decisions about whether to keep or get rid of your loot, um, as that can be very confusing. The art styles, I'm, it, this is really like love it or hate it. You know, I mean, if you hate it, you've probably clicked off the video by now. But, um, whoops, I totally forgot to block. Let's just do a block. And he has just completely dismembered himself. Okay, so never mind, we didn't have to take care of that enemy. We've got a couple things. We're running pretty low on health already. 
Um, not really playing my best. I had a great run of it the other night. I've gone through... I, I've made it up to, like, the forest, and the forest is a very difficult area. There's different types of... Ooh, jeez. Hang on a second. Okay, so you were frozen by that attack, and that wasn't for very long. All right, but it's, as you can see, I'm, like, delimbing enemies. That That's pretty frequent here. Oh, gosh, uh, that is a trap. Uh, you're basically, like, you're... You're more or less just in some sort of hellish inferno for this game. And it is the quest to achieve absolution. Do we have a pause menu here? Uh, no, it actually doesn't show it. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, T, progress screen. So we are in dungeon A, and there's dungeon B and C, and then there's also a cave region, A, B, and C. And then the forest, which is very difficult and we probably won't even get to. But then we get to uh, trial of resolve is optional, but then we get to the maw of sin. I have not made it up to this part yet, but that is presumably if you complete the first parts, you will get up to that. Um, it is good. It is a good game. I like this, guys. All right, this thing is so much better. Let's go ahead and just swap back over to that, though, because I like that a little bit better. Items have durability in this game, so I'm going to consume some a sort of... Ayo, oh, 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 oh. Ay -o -o -o. Hey, Hey, F-Dog, what's up? Thanks very much for the... Uh... Oh, wait a second. I just walked into a trap. Okay, I got out of it. Sorry, hang on a second. Anytime that, like, uh... I was uh, testing this out rather extensively yesterday. Anytime that, like, ritual circle appears... Uh, hang on a second. I'm just gonna turn off time. It's my ability here. Um... Anytime that thing appears, that means... You... You gotta run for it. Do not stay in there, otherwise you just lose, like, half your health. Not good, man. Hey, but thank you. Every everything is mostly good. I got most of the rats out of my attic. Uh, there's a few left in there, but, you know, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, yeah, otherwise, a, a relatively decent day. How are you? Wouldn't say you hate it. It can be, like, look, if you don't, I, I would get why you don't like it. The one thing that I will say is watching this game is harder to look at than playing it. I'm just going to go ahead and say it right there. We all knew it. Uh, it's one of those games that... <laughs> This might be another one of those games where AA says, Old AA, old Uncle AA, weird old Uncle AA. I'm going to take the extra durability on my staves because I don't want to run out of a good weapon. Uh, I tend to get like a little bit distracted here and there. Hang on a second. Icy blood cross of haste, successful blocks, freeze. Blast all nearby enemies with fire. I think Hellfire of Protection is pretty good looking. That's this one, right? Yeah, that's level 10. To get the level on the side of the item, here's your stats. Uh, you get your ability. It's pretty simple UI. Nothing too crazy. The one thing that I've had a little bit of trouble discovering, and I haven't really gone to online to just look it up, is like, where are the secrets? You know, there's always a secret in these dungeon crawling games. One thing we could be doing, though, is letting enemies fall into the traps. Oh, you actually didn't take too much damage from that trap, did you? So this staff, I believe when I charge it, uh, should explode the nearby enemies. I'm just gonna keep on taking these potions, man. I'm doing a lot of damage to my armor. Oh, we haven't really found anything that great yet. Nah, my current armor is better. My armor is level 9, man. I will say this. I did not expect myself to like this game, and yet it is extremely immersive. Uh, hang on a second. And some of the classes, it feels like, I believe, one of the reviews that I read... And I think this is pretty accurate. It's like playing as the dude from Berserk, you know? You literally get that giant sword. Uh, it is pretty sweet, but some of the weapons strike so slowly. Uh, ooh, what is that? Kind of disturbing to play it, I feel like. You know, what? what is this? Like some sort of... Uh, Although I like it, you know? I, I don't... I rarely play horror. Ooh, God, hang on. No, 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 get out of my way. I think I activated a wave of enemies there. I believe that those circles can do various things, like sometimes they activate a wave of enemies, sometimes they... Hang on a second. Sometimes they just cause a guy to jo drop out of the ceiling. I'm not really doing a very good job winding up my attacks here. Wow, 16. Oh. Oh, hey, but wait, it. Jesus. Oh, there was another trap there. Didn't even see that. See, I can die very... Man, this is going to be one of those games where I require so much coordination. Also, Peckin' Wolf, thank you very much for the 16 months. Appreciate you. 
with that fantastic new AA pixel art. Ooh. Hang on a second. Okay, uh, yeah, something bad has happened. So I took too much damage. Do you see my chest plate there? And that has been destroyed. Uh, I just need to get a new one. This happens, I find that this happens a lot in this game with, like, uh, you know, boss fights and stuff like that. Like, there are some pretty crazy enemies who will just take up the entire screen. And when you fight them, you totally lose track of what's going on around you. Alright, so we are going to open up one of these challenges. Uh, quest sustain a 1.5... How multiplier? What did it say? Five times? Five seconds remaining. What is my five seconds remaining for? Hang on a second. Uh, we get better item drops, better potion recovery from vital essence. Okay, I'll take that. That's not bad. We are going up against a bigger... Ch what is my challenge again? I do wish you could read that again on the orb. Hang on a second. Do I have more information here? If I go to tab, if I go to my stat screen... Uh, nope. Alright, so we just have to sustain some decently sized combos. That shouldn't be too bad in this room because we're about to go up against a wave of enemies. These are these large rooms where this happens, so we have 18 enemies there. Alright, so we are going to try to get some combos going. I'm going to wait for more enemies to spawn, and then I'm going to freeze time, and then I'm going to go into a spinny attack. Be very afraid of my spin. All right, so I'm still not really doing enough here. I'm Okay, there we go, 1.6 combo. So I'm at 1.7. Dude, I'm gonna die very fast here. This is not a very good start. Why am I playing? It's probably because it's, it's streamer luck, you know, streamer blindness. Ooh, I was playing so well before and now I've really got myself into the gutter. Okay, no, now we're coming back. So we took out all the waves. I do believe we still have a decent amount of floor left to go in front of us. But we've also lost so much armor, man. Terrible, terrible. Let's see if we can find some more. Blood Cross of Power. That's a little bit better than this thing. What do we have? Summons Deadly. Okay, so we'll take the Rotating Crosses back. We've got about, like, five or six different abilities that it shifts around between. I do feel like... Eh, maybe there could be a little bit more variation, though. Maybe I just haven't discovered as many of the items. Watching this at 360p isn't... Oh, yeah, that's the advanced mode, right? Hang on a second. Uh, let's upgrade this one. So this is just a higher level version of that. There's enchantments on items. There's all kinds of things you can locate. Okay, cool. So I'm recovering more, I believe, here. Is that a trap at the end of the hallway? Uh... I'm like kind of awkwardly trying to get combos, so I'm going to let more enemy. Ooh, challenge area. Hang out a second. Uh, man, he got a hit in it on me. Man, this area was so small, it would have been really hard to complete the challenge here, I feel like. All right, so we just have to get to a 1.5 multiplier, so we want a bunch of small strikes here. Oh god, what was that? Oh, I can actually get my combo multiplier up from striking a trap on the wall. That is nice. Oh, darn it. I really wanted the money, though. Staves are becoming extremely durable here. But at what cost? Orange is money. Uh, red is the, like, blood vial potions. And blue is the durability potions. So you've got three different types of, like, spherical energy mana sort of orbs. To collect here. Uh, there's... It, it's a little tricky. I, I do feel like that could be a... Oh, hang on a second. What have we got in this dimension? So we have gone into another dimension. Uh, we have unlocked Kick Jump. Okay, so we've got those two or three... Oh, Jesus. I didn't even see that. Get killed here. This would be a great place to get killed. Okay, so... I managed to jump down and not die. I think I'm going to die when I get back, though. But whatever it is, what it is. So we don't want to fall out of the dimension. Otherwise, you know, obviously we die. Uh, we, well, we don't die, actually. We just, uh, you know, that's it's not great to fall out of the dimension. But here we are. Isn't this lovely? Oh, God. Hang on a second. I have to kick this thing, and I'm dead. Totally just died while in the other dimension. And it really did not play well there at all. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> okay, let's play something like super aggressive then. Or should we go like super defensive? Nah, I'm gonna go super aggressive. We've gotta die a little bit more. I told you I would die a lot. Oh. Man, and we had found so many abilities, but all we were really getting from those abilities was like staff durability and my armor kept breaking down. Okay, so this is an interesting class. We're playing as the Reaper now, who has the Bone Saw ability, which means that he can do this. And he basically just, like, delims everything all around him. Super fun. Um, and I do believe he has a pretty good default attack, where he just goes into, like, a round swing without really too much effort. And he also attacks very fast, so he can basically just go to town on every enemy here. We could go into the dungeon, but let's just go ahead and see a different area because we've already been to the dungeon. So we will go into the cave this time. So we'll just drop into a cave. And look, here we are in the cave. Amazing, right? How long is an average run in this game? That one was, like, very short. So, generally speaking, if you do well, they could last anywhere from, like, 15 minutes. I think my, fr my very first run was, like, 15 minutes. My best run so far has probably been, like, two hours. Um, they can last quite a while, and I, I do believe that they can last hours and hours, but if you're going really fast and you're just, like, not really paying attention to getting every piece of loot and dungeon traps and stuff like that, you could probably clear it out way fast. I think there's an achievement to achieve absolution in 30 minutes. So we would just be, like, breakneck through here. I've been pretty much just checking everything as I go. But you could kind of go through it like Binding of Isaac if you want to. Um, the first person bit for like a roguelike... Yeah, honestly, it feels kind of like an old school dungeon crawler or like... You know, like an old school dagger fall in that way, kind of. But modernized with a lot of... I don't know, quality of life types of things. See, look at that. I'm already going to die. Ooh. I haven't even activated my ability. Okay, let's use that. Use the Reaper's ability. So I guess basically as this character, just due to the... Weapon and equipment durability, we don't really need that right now. Uh, we could buy some potions though, because we have a lot of... Excuse me, a lot of money here. That would be good. I, th I do think... Does money hold steady between runs? That might be the one area of meta progression, but also just... Like, kind of forgiveness in the game, because this game can be really challenging. Like, from run to run, you really don't retain too much. Oh, I didn't even notice what my quest was that time. What is it this time? Okay, we get to pick an ability. 3.1 times max combo uh, combo multiplier. Nah, power strikes deal 105% damage. Whirlwind lasts longer. Nearby enemies are slowed by 6%. I don't really like any of these. I think I'm going to re-roll them. Luck has one ten percent Speed has one ten percent Uh, this is not that bad. Although, I feel like 110% luck could really pay off if it works out for us. Go ahead and use this instead. Just that that's bound to... I mean, if we survive long enough in the run, we're going to get really good loot, right? It's not the idea. Weapon and equipment durability, uh, didn't take that. Just waiting for the enemies to run into their own traps, man. This Reaper is pretty good though, don't you think? Like, super fast on the attack. Really quickly just goes into a spinny attack. We're just kind of like... Okay, that's better. I'm just really quickly kind of like eyeballing the weapons. Here we go. You could, like, it's the type of game where you could really obsess over every little piece of gear. But it's, you know, as an action roguelike, I feel like slowing down a ton kind of defeats the purpose of playing something like that. Although I'm probably just, like, there's going to be some, ooh, okay. Enchanted Sickle of, okay, so this one has a magical spell associated with it. I do think that this one is a little bit better, even though that its stats aren't as good. So we'll just take that. Okay, I'm going to get out of there. Stay away from the trap. Decent, decent. Yeah, this game has been out for, what is it, like, almost a year? Am I mistaken in saying that? That was unfortunate. I had to basically go through the axe. I had to use up two potions for that, man. Okay, so see the subtle difference between the red enemies may release corrosive gas on death. Which drains equipment. Uh, but plus one level for item drops. 
Okay, and kind of backfires on itself since our equipment will last longer. So this is going to be a wave defense right here. All right, so let's go into our invulnerable. Uh, we are invulnerable when we use that, like, buzzsaw attack. So that is pretty sweet, and I should use that as much as I can, especially against the bosses. Although it doesn't really last that long. I guess I could have taken the level up with that, but I thought luck would be better. The other game I was thinking of when I was playing this and I didn't really do a lot of was Ultra Kill, just because of how, like... I don't want to say weirdly in a bad way. I actually like the stylized graphics. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, and they're not always mine, but when I want them, they're pretty freaking cool. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was kind of giving me those ultra kill vibes, man. Hang on a second. Okay, our items are losing some durability here. I guess the only thing that I, I feel is... Although I feel like it would kind of... I was going to say, like, more enemy variation would be kind of interesting. I guess the one thing that's a little bit tricky in some of the dungeons, really environmental variation, because everything kind of feels like a one-by-one one dungeon, or like a two-by-one. It, it's a little claustrophobic, and I feel sometimes like the areas where it opens up are really cool, too. Luck is 120, or spells deal 130%. Are we really using that many spells, though? I guess Wave Blade is kind of like a, a spell, but I hardly have time to wind up my swings anyway. Let's just keep spamming our luck and see where that takes us, man. Yeah, it does kind of... It's like playing around with Photoshop filters. That's a good way of putting it, actually. I didn't think of that. Okay, I just walked into a trap there. Ooh, Scythe of Vitality. That looks really good. Um, not really, like, doing anything particularly interesting, but just good stats, I guess, right? Oh, wait, is it shooting out a Scythe at them? I'm just gonna wind this thing up, man. Look at this. Get out of here. This takes way longer to wind up, but this thing is good, man. Ooh, I like this. All right, I have max durability potions. I'm just going to use this. This feels so excessive. Oh, God. Wait, really? I died? I insta-died by a guillotine just walking into it. That's what I mean when I say that there are some parts of this game where it's like, wait, what? Like, I was doing fine, wasn't I at, like, full health? That was crazy, like, I just slight, I had to touch it for the, okay, whatever, I'm gonna stop complaining. I keep dying a lot, so let's go ahead and, I would play as the, you know what, let's try one more crazy run as the Berserker. And then we'll go in as Paladin. If I die again, I will go in as Paladin. Because the Paladin is the one defensive class that lasts for quite a long time. Uh... Man, I thought I would play poorly because I I generally do on stream. Now we're basically playing as Berserk. Um, but if we play as Paladin, then we will last longer. Although I, I will have one more, like, quick death run before I go that route because this is one you have to see. I will go back to the dungeon, too, because I think the dungeon is a little bit easier. You know, normally I would be like pissed that I had died because I like to get in one good run at the beginning um although I'm not really that upset because I just feel like no one really watches these types of games on my channel like that I just I'm just kind of doing it purely for fun so I'm like uh. sometimes I know with like a like a big simulation game I know that people will Ooh, look at this my whole project with the VOD channel I guess that is to say was always sort of like just purely have fun with it like don't try to ever there's this kind of loop that youtubers get into like when things start going well it's like on your channel and it's like you want views to keep going up and eventually like you'll hit your ceiling and stuff like that but i'm really happy with the vod channel because i always told myself from day one like i'm just gonna not try and just have total fun with this project and i think some of that energy like it kind of needs to come back to my main channel nowadays because I uh that being said I do feel like uh I do feel like it, it is a necessary thing to have happen but 
I don't know. I just like I'm never upset if uh, if people don't watch something on the VOD channel. I'm just like, eh, I did it for me. I had fun. Um, yep. But I don't know. I think it's helped to have people around for that, uh, helping me out with stuff, and it helps me do more of the stuff that I really like doing on it. So yep. Anyway, I've been making a. a, a this is a weird thing I was talking about. I've been making it a point this year to cover new stuff. Decided to uh, slightly change up some of the thumbnails on the VOD channel too, just because I kind of, you know, I enjoy covering new games. I, I'd always seen myself as like someone who would get to cover new games, and this is this is sweet, man. Mm. Hopefully, we'll keep to get. Uh, of course, we'll keep doing stuff like that, like this on the channel. Do I feel like the style of stuff in the main... I feel like the stuff on the main channel has changed every year. It's constantly changing. I learned so much. God, the videos were so bad when I first started. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> Looking back years, I'm, like, really happy with how everything's coming. <laughs> Although I think there's different times when you need to be kind of like a completionist. And then there's times when you need to be a perfectionist. And one thing that I'll say is actually... I've noticed this with YouTube recently, is that it used to be if you made a video that was like 10% better than another one, you'd get like 100% more views. But in the last year, just because they totally changed the algorithm to like fit with shorts, uh, basically that doesn't really apply to the same extent as it did anymore. Like by my hypothesis. Uh, and what it kind of is going to reward now in the future is just making a lot of content. So we're going to start to see a lot of, I believe, or at least the route that I kind of want to go with it. And I had decided this for myself a while back and then, you know, stuff changed around and now I'm kind of coming back to it is I just kind of want to start to have the channel reflect all the stuff that I just like playing in games. Uh, and one of the people I've, I've kind of looked up to for a while with this and like, a, like someone I'm glad to say is like a very, eh, kind of like a good acquaintance. I guess we're not really like friends in that sense but like somebody i've played with a little bit is call me kevin i really like kevin's taste in games um and just like a really authentic and nice dude um but yeah um i don't know so i'm kind of thinking of going in some of that direction with the gaming stuff um on the main channel and then like keep the vod channel more or less as is but yeah i, I kind of want releases to come out faster on the main channel i don't like it when videos are this like kind of perfectionist uh, and I think I got better at this, but I don't like being such a perfectionist anymore. It's just like, you're going to hit your ceiling and I'm really happy with what I've created. So, uh, the other thing that I'll just say has happened to me over the last year is I've started running into like literal health issues from just so much sitting in a chair. Uh, so I, I just literally can't, oops, I accidentally sold that. I literally can't edit for as long as I used to be able to, which is too bad. So I've just kind of changed up the way I've done stuff and... Yeah, I don't know, uh, kind of sucks, but I'm, like, dealing with that. I still really like doing it, though, which is too bad, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and I'm lucky to have the people around me that I do. And I don't know, I'm, I'm very happy right now. I'm happier than I'd been in a long time. Um, get to experience that. Anyway, sorry, major tangent there. Ooh. Liking this, like, seriously berserk inspired this is when you're actually doing this build right it feels great you know we're invulnerable when we're uh doing our swing right yeah invulnerable during whirlwind i personally love i think that the color filter stuff sold me on the game in the first place what's my favorite isometric game art wise i think i like the open ttd slash like Roller Coaster Tycoon stuff. That stuff aged so well. Ooh. Look at this, man. I'm invulnerable and I'm swinging fast. Although it kind of does run out faster than you'd want it to. I'm going to die here. I haven't really gone into my main ability yet. I feel like I've been just managing that bad... I mean, that doesn't really affect it too much. It's mainly the whirlwind that's helping me. Yeah, running has been good. I've been still exercising a lot, although I think part of it was that I just, like, didn't have real health care for a while. So it would be like, hey, I want to go see a specialist. Like, can I 
see somebody like can i see an orthopedist and it'll be like that's like a thousand dollars to walk in the door and i'm like okay <laughs> i'm gonna wait until next year <laughs> so now i finally have there's there's a good and bad side to being self-employed so now i finally have like actual health care <laughs> But I, I learned a lot about America, man. I learned a lot about... Should I even... Okay, I'll chance this. Yeah, good. Um, Yeah, I don't know, man. It's been like an education unto itself. Standing desk. I've tried everything. I've tried every single thing. I just need to get help. Try to. I think the best thing I did was talk to a PT. Very lucky to have a good guy who's like a physical therapist near me, a runner friend that uh, recommended. Any examples of off the brain videos I felt too perfectionist about? Uh, not really. Just kind of like everything in general. And actually, not, I'm very happy with everything, how everything went. I really like being a perfectionist about them. And one thing that I'll say that. Okay, I'll get into some, like, kind of awkward numbers here. YouTube basically used to promote a video to, a, like, a way bigger audience if you would get really good retention, so... The reason why I made 10-minute videos for years was because I just wanted to see if there was, like, a threshold where YouTube would promote a video if, like, people liked it enough. I thought that number had come out to about 70%. Um, ooh, there we go. I'm dead. Yeah, I, I told you I would die as that. Okay, now we're going back in as Paladin. Ooh. Ooh. Have I tried a butt transplant? Not yet. Maybe I should, though. Anyway, that was why I'd done that for a while. Because videos had been kind of all over the place. And YouTube does like it when you make long videos. But nowadays, if you make a long video, YouTube will promote it just because it's long. Like, if people don't hate it, like, I've, I've noticed this, and it's kind of crazy. Which is why you're starting to see the whole platform change back again to, like, claimed, like, authenticity. And I do think it's good for the platform. But it's also, like... Ooh! Okay. Paladin has a very cool ability. Let me just go over this guy before, he, before we really get into it. Okay, so the Paladin uh, has Holy Spirit. So successful blocks trigger a magic shield that pierces through enemies. So we can go into our R... And when we get a block in, we basically just bash everybody back. So it's a great way to actually, like, learn the game, learn the blocking a little bit better. I couldn't block as much with some of the other characters. Or it's just not really as effective. I'll take Boots of Speed. Now we can do a roundhouse kick. So we'll just roundhouse kick everything. Oh, I love the roundhouse kick. But yeah, it's funny because I had chatted with uh, a YouTube partner. Super helpful to YouTube partners. Great people. Um, but a lot of it, too, that you learn is just kind of, like, stuff from here is what the algorithm and the platform is, like, promoting right now, and uh, here's what you could use for it. But, you know, like, realistic and helpful. Basically, like, live and what I've just noticed in stats is, like, live streams just start getting promoted, and it just kind of, like, finds an audience just because they're long. It's... It's odd to me, but I think what it means that we're going to see, and here's here's the great thing. I think it's going to be kind of painful for a while, like the whole thing, Matt Pat and people, like, uh, resigning, stuff like that. You know, it sucks. But at the same time, I think what we're going to see is that all of the stuff that people were very perfectionist and, like, produced about, all of those videos, are going to get kind of narrow and narrower in their promotion as shorts replace them. Um... And what we're going to see a comeback of in, like, smaller niches is people just kind of playing games. And, like, kind of the comeback of uh, what one of my friends calls the lazy let's play. Uh, I think we're going to see a comeback of that type of content. Which was kind of funny because that was, like, the old YouTube meta, but I guess people weren't as satisfied with that. But I think it's what we're seeing now, or that's at least what's giving the most consistent results. Um, I don't know though, maybe I'm, maybe I'm off. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe I'm an idiot. I'm just a guy, but I don't know, yeah, that's what I get from the numbers that I see. Uh, yeah, it's funny, like, the way that they'll just kind of promote live streams for no reason. I'm like, I put little to no effort into this, but it gets promoted a lot just because it's long. Um, which I do like live streaming a lot. Here, I'm just kind of talking off the back of... 
uh, you know, like extemporaneously, not and not in a very well way because I've kind of gotten off topic. But uh, okay, I'll take attack. Yeah, best defense is a good offense. Anyway, that's what I think. That's my two cents. It's been a crazy year, though. It was around the time that the CEO changed that I believe they, like, it seemed around that time that a lot of these changes took place. Like, the one thing is that I, you probably won't see me making a lot of shorts. Shorts have been crazy the way they've grown, and I don't really think it's good because the people who make shorts aren't really making any money off of them. Like... Not to the same extent as they would for videos, so I don't think it's very good for supporting creators. I don't think these people are going to be able to make a living. They're just growing these big audiences, like, for clout, but they don't really get any compensation for it. The other thing, too, is that I believe it's... And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that YouTube takes a 70 split of the shorts ad revenue, and creators take a 30% split, which is... Creators used to take a 55% split for videos, and YouTube would get 45, uh, which is still already a pretty big cut, but you know, I mean, it's their platform. But just the thing that I notice as a trend is that there's a lot of young people who come onto YouTube for like, uh, and it's not just young people either, but like young people for clout, where it's just like, oh, I have a zillion followers, and that's great, but it's not really gonna help you, I mean, I even had, like, students back when I was a teacher who would have these big social media channels. And they, uh, like, for example, like, TikTok just doesn't really pay ad revenue to its creators, right? Or what is it? It's not very, it's not very, like, good for people making a living. Good for, cl I don't even like this dungeon. I hated that one. It was just, like, weapon upgrades, but mostly damaging me. I had to get out of there. Ooh. Yeah, I, I don't know how that 70% split for creators started to happen with shorts. Uh, I suspected it was because the platform was very expensive to run. Like, Google was... And I, I think if anyone deserves a monopoly, it should be Google. I think they do a pretty good job running. Like, when you compare with all the other social media platforms and, like, all the horrible things that happen on them, I think, in general, YouTube is a great one and still, I think, one of the best places to make videos. I wouldn't be doing this anywhere else. But, uh... Ooh, look at this. Everyone's spawning in. Okay, this is what's great about the Paladin, is you can just, like, basically sit there with your shield and block. Take no damage, and then just wait for your ability to recharge. Of course, we won't be able to use this against bigger enemies, but man, look at that. Just block all the damage. Releasing more waves of energy. Ooh, waves. Look at the waves go. Return to Helena for my reward. Where is Helena, anyway? Yo, it always says Helena. I don't understand. Where is she? Though? Who is she? Yeah, but uh, anyway, I, I used to think that was because it's so... Ex I mean, think about the sheer amount of data that Google is processing for people uploading video. Video files take up a lot of room. Uh, and they're not all even compressed properly either, so it's like crazy stuff ha crazy stuff happening, man. Is Helena over here? Hmm. The reason why I still like Twitch is because, and this was something that I'd thought of since the very beginning, but you don't want to have all your stuff on one platform. I think that's like living on the internet, that's kind of crazy talk and I, I like them for different purposes too like I feel like Twitch is kind of like a clubhouse whereas YouTube when we stream on there it's sort of like like you know you kind of got to have your your plans together and we could just kind of chat on here a little bit more it's a little bit more casual than uh like I said other thing too that I've noticed though over the years with Twitch is that it's not so satisfaction algorithm focused which I suspected after a while, that might start to get to be a bit much for my senses, you know? Like, there's one thing that's lovely about creating videos, but, like, the one loop of toxicity, I think, is when every second of your life is spent thinking about how engaging this will be to people to watch. Um, and at a certain point, it's just not worth 
It's just not worth, like, trying to get more people interested in- I actually don't want that item. At a certain point, it's just not worth it trying to get more people interested in it. And, like, I would just rather- One thing that I'll say that I've noticed that's an epiphany that I think is kind of a coming-of-age thing. Keep in mind, I started all this off when I was 22. I was pretty young. Um, but one thing I've started to notice over the last year is I feel happier just making the stuff I like for a smaller group of people. You know what I mean? Um, like, I think of people like uh, like Northern Lion, for example. Northern Lion has been making videos for, like, a much smaller niche, but has been doing, like, a very happy thing for years. That's just one example. But, you know, I, I look at people who have lasted for a while doing this. But that is to say, that is to say, I'm happy with it. Happy with what I've done. But, uh... Yeah, you know, naturally you think, how will this work for, like, ten years or more, or stuff like that. Or now I work with a couple of guys, uh, like, video editors that I contract. And, you know, like, it naturally it does lead to, uh, how am I gonna take care of myself? And how am I gonna, you know, make sure that I can give predictable results to other people? But let me tell you, there's, like, nothing more rewarding than to be able to create work for other people and, like, you know, do something like that. I, I never thought I would feel that way. I thought I would... I didn't know how I would feel. Crazy stuff, man. Alright. Uh, I don't really need any more health things. Hmm. I need to drink a potion, man. There we go. Okay, get some more money on the wall. That really doesn't look like money, you know? It doesn't. It doesn't look money-like. Also, Disparity! Thank you very much for the Prime. Appreciate you, appreciate you. This game is indeed pretty intense. Although it's one of those ones where I, I think the thought process I just went through, my mind just tends to wander, and I do like games like that that just kind of help me go through my day when I'm playing them. You know what I mean? Tell my stories. Just telling my stories and cutting people's heads off. Oops, ran into the trap. Twenty-three today, lived another year. Hey, congrats on your birthday, Yanni. Hello. Happy birthday, everybody. Please wish Yanni hello uh Yanni hello a happy birthday. Unholy rage, delimbed enemies may go berserk. Berserking enemies cannot be stunned and ignore D limb effects, but plus three item level for... That is pretty good. Okay, I will take that. Way better pickups here. Oh, I fall down a, a deeper hole. Okay, now we're going up against a boss. So we can just basically rely on our ability here. Oh, jeez. Uh, I say that we just run away. Just run away in fear. Until our ability recharges and then maybe fight them again. Okay, hit me, hit me everyone. So that I can unleash my unleash my power burst upon you. Oh, what are you going to do now? He's clapping his hands. Okay, I'm going to go into my ballet spin. There we are. Okay, so now that I've exploded the boss, sometimes he turns into more like miniaturized versions of himself. He didn't that time, but watch out for that because that does happen. I think I should have taken that, but never mind. Up, oh, still one guy left. All right, so we made it through a boss fight. Wow, fantastic. We did it all as the, I should have played as the paladin in the first place, man. Wow. Oh wait, we've still got one guy left. Where is he? Oh, just some guy with his head cut off. Very nice. Very nice. I think the yeah, it, I don't want to be like, oh, like, I'm so altruistic and amazing, though. You know, like, at the same time, the one thing that I, I this is just like kind of a personal struggle, is I, I was never good at math and science in college. Uh, and I really wanted to be. I felt like that was something that would be more useful for, like, the world in general. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Sweet ability. Enemies hit by traps will explode on impact. I, I sometimes just feel like that all the creative stuff that I do is like vanity in a way. All right, I'll take a higher level item. Even without the ability, that's just way higher level. But I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna. 
I'd like be inventing a cure for cancer anytime soon. Oh, hooray! We uh, in we got through that. Awesome. But I think that can also become its own like toxic loop. You know, I was very much like that when I was around 18. I was like, I'm gonna save the world, but uh, very quickly, realistically, uh, began to understand that I, I could not produce anything of value in the STEM area. Um, maybe that will change, but there's other things too. Like one of my buddy works in, uh, he works in trades. And I'm like, man, what a valuable thing that is to just be able to work on people's houses and stuff like that. Like we fixed, we rewired an entire light uh, at my place. That's just like, it was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> my whole, my whole home is just a mess. Um, there are rats living in the attic. It's, it's really a nightmare. Um, anyway, that being said, I was just like, what a useful thing that is, you know? Uh, and it really did a great job, and I was just like, man. I don't get all doomer about society with you guys. Okay, I gotta stay away from these guillotines, man. These things are gonna be the death of me. Or maybe just push enemies into them, because they're gonna explode, right? Anyway, that being said, I don't know, I think it is... Uh, and that it is crystallizing into a realistic adult sense of what to do with life. I don't know. Yeah, that being said, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. We weren't doing anything horrible, though. I, I mean, what we're creating is, like, pretty simple, entertaining videos. Afraid of guillotines? What are you, the one percent? <laughs> guillotines. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna come take me down like Louis the Sixteenth. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, here I go. Ooh, crunch slam chest. Howdy ho. How you doing? Thanks very much for the sub. Appreciate you. Flow of battle quest sustained a two point five times combo. Okay, so we got to round up a lot of enemies this time. Thanks for the content and levels. Ah, howdy ho. Anon, thank you very much for the ten dollars. Would you wouldn't happen to know Stefan Anon, would you? I ate with Stefan Anon at a table in Sweden, and it was a joy. Thank you very much, Anon. Appreciate you. Ooh. Yeah, like sometimes, like harmless and harmless enjoyment, style. maybe. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yay, verily. It is like, I don't know. I, I feel like more people are on the love it than the hate it. Although, I don't know. We never play first person kinds of games. I was trying to bring in just like new stuff into our palette this year, you know? Maybe I'll play an Ultra Kill. Maybe I'll even play something by Todd Howard. I was in, uh, what was it? I was. This is weird. Last year, uh, for a Paradox event, I got to hang out with, um... Hi. Oh, ah. Uh, who is it? You're so skibbity. So phantom tax. So I skibbity. I just want to stick out my guy for the Rizzler. I am confused. Oof. Yeah, the style is... <laughs> who are you? I'm gonna do, like, the... I'm gonna do the Patrick Star thing. The who are you people? <laughs> Hey, HP Live Laugh Lovecraft, thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> Man, you really do have a way with words. Jeez Louise. Also, Dramaestra, thank you very much for the sub. Hmm. You know what's kind of reminding me of? Did you guys play a... Uh, oh, I failed the quest. Uh, there weren't that many enemies on that floor, though. Not really an opportunity to get into 250% or whatever it was. Ooh, gain 1% health of unkill. That's pretty good. Attack, although the attack multiplier is also very good. I'm going to take the vampirism, though, just because when I get distracted, I'll probably lose health anyway, right? What was that game? Uh, GTFO. The one where you get... You start off the game in one of those up-down machines, you know? I should be a little bit more careful. Excuse me right here with this. Okay, these guys summon more people, so you can't just wait around for them to attack you. Look at you with your missing legs, your missing arms, your missing head. I will take a level 18 item over a level 17, even if it's slower. 
I guess I could be a little more intentional with that, right? Like, get the, uh, get a slow item and a fast... Eh, maybe I'll build that next. Who are you? Well, this was a waste. This was just a dead end. Here we go. You know, the one thing I had to do... I, maybe this is like a Catholic thing. I just had developed so much guilt for anything I did. Like, back when I was... Back when I was teaching, even. And teaching is... Teaching was a good thing to do. I enjoyed that. Actually, the second job I had teaching, I really enjoyed. It's a good thing I did for the world. But sometimes you can just do something that you like. And, like, not judge it. I think that was something I had to figure out. We'd been going off on this conversation earlier in chat. Actually, this is before stream. The woes, man. Oh, who are you? Like, there's this whole super ego thing. Maybe this is topical because we're playing a game about mortal sin, you know? How dare you? How dare you sin? Oh, look at these things. Ooh. There's people living in the wall. That is not good. What is this? Ooh, look, stalactites. Or stalagmites. I can never remember what they are. It's got to be one of them, though. I think it's a stalactite. Am I... Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, now we have to get a... I don't even remember what the quest was here. The last time we failed, what was it? 2.5 times combo multiplier? 69... 420 combo multiplier, whatever it was, right? Stalag. Wait, stalag. They're both stalag. Oh, stalag might is might reach the ceiling someday. Okay, so then they are stalag tights on top, right? Yes. Because they gotta hang to the ceiling tight. Just made that up right now. Lots of stalactites, few to no stalagmites to be seen. I wonder what prompted this design choice. Ooh, there comes another guillotine. Still surprised we lost so much health from that guillotine. Oh, by the way, the arrow there on the ground uh, points you to the next objective if you've not seen it. Sometimes, I guess if you get really lost, then it must appear. I'm trying to figure out exactly what prompts that thing. To, uh, what is... Ugh. Whoops. It might be judged by, like, the amount of speed with which I walk into that thing. That took away about half of my health bar again right there. You see that? Enemies can detect you from farther away and are more aggressive. That's fine. I'll take more gold and more level for item drops. That's fine. Okay, we come to a boss room. Uh, we're gonna fight some thick boys in this room, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and do a block into an attack this time. <clears throat> uh, get away, my superpower is about to recharge. Cool. See, Paladin doesn't even need to do anything fancy, just blocks. Maybe it doesn't look as cool, but... What is cool when you're having fun? I hope our shield doesn't get destroyed. Our helmet is now destroyed. That is quite bad. We've still got to take out another 12 enemies before we're done with this area as well. Just go ahead and pop another uh, durability potion. Okay, here they come. Okay, we've got some sort of mummy. I do believe that is technically a mummy. I've, I've died to it before and it, it told me that it was a mummy, if you must know. All right, I do believe that's all of them. Oh, wait, no, 30 out of 31, never mind. We can still probably loot and we'll be fine. Cool, we got Vigor. Attacks now of 150% multiplier. Fantastic. Boots of hope or whatever they are. I feel like the UI could be a little bit clearer as to whether things... Are, I mean, you do get the nice green and red text, but I still feel like I need to take a minute to decide if something is good or bad for me. But I kind of like seeing if something's good or bad for me, you know? Overall, I think it's a fantastic game. Fantastic. Really like it. Uh, don't really think that's going to help us. Claws of power. Um, 
Nah. Unfortunately, it looked cool because it was rare. I'll take a better helmet. Alright! You know who I think would like this game is Clean. Clean has very good game tastes. There's no streamer clean. Cl not clean. Clean. I gotta get clean into this. Fun fact, the shield is a forest product. True, yeah, you're right, it is. That's crazy. Look at us using all these natural products. Hang on a moment. Ah, uh, God. How did we get so many? This is like a zombie horde we're fighting against right here. That's much better. That's more like it. Oh, jeez. I am not in... Oh, it was the poison cloud. Oh, that was actually draining my health. I thought that was just draining durability. I should have read that. All right, let's keep starting a new game. We've already played very horribly. Thought I would be better here on stream, but I... We'll just get to see more of the content, which is fantastic, honestly. We'll play as the monk. Yes, the mitochondria is indeed the power of the, the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> the, the one thing I, I think would be cool to have... Okay, now this is the one thing. I'll stop saying stupid things now. The one thing that would be pretty cool to have in this game... So we're playing as the... Uh, you can invincible uppercut that deals. We will not survive long as this class, but this is the monk. Uh, he has a very cool roundhouse kick, and I think it's just very funny and meme to just kick everyone in the dungeon to death. <laughs> so we're gonna play as this one next. Um, take armor. Don't we get like a bonus to our unarmed? Yeah. Punch deals more damage. Unarmed our arm block blocks all damage. Roundhouse kicks are awesome. Savagery. Okay. Yeah, so we're basically just an unarmed beast here as the monk. And we can't even open things with our hands, so we need to use our feet to open them. So it's just kicking everyone in this run, man. Oh, it's not even that. We just do this. So we go from a kick into a double punch. This is ridiculous, because how could any human coordinate this level of agility? Like, in order to punch in this way. It's crazy even to comprehend and think about. Or we're just going to be kicking everyone all throughout the dungeon. It's more like a fighting game, though. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> That's so wild, man. <laughs> uh, okay, there we are. I guess I should do a little bit more blocking there. Yeah, maybe he has more arms and legs than the average person. Like, he could be a giant spider person. The monk is very fun. I, I think we'll die fast in boss fights. He'll be great in the... Uh, ooh, what is this? Complete the optional timed... Okay, so this is timed. 11 seconds remaining. 9 seconds remaining. 5 seconds. I, I don't know how it could fight any faster than this. Okay, I did. Remove curse. I don't even think I have a curse, do I? Where is this Helena, anyway? Alright. Someone's going to have to... I just, I just don't know what I'm talking about there. I don't know where Helena is. Oh, wait a minute. I think that she's in the main area, then, isn't she? That's probably one of the statues that we have not spoken to yet. Because you do go back to the main area after this, so that's probably what we got. Hmm. Fearless Armor of Haste. Okay, here we go. Ah, look at you. Take the boots of vitality. All right, um... I will get rid of... Enemies hit by traps will explode on impact again. I like that one. Yeah, I can keep taking my potions. I really don't need any weapon as this character. You can just focus on armor, so I guess you get more... Better pickups. 20 attacks total to make a dismemberment has a chance to uh, dismember nearby enemies. Luck has one to... Okay, let's do something fun. We're going to do an explosion just because this run has not gone as I intended it to. So let's just do everything really crazy. Plus, we're doing a lot of hits this time, so it does kind of make sense to take an explosion every 20 hits. Because it just takes so many to kill, right? There we go. Let's just roundhouse kick this thing. 
Yeah, I was thinking of the My Chemical Romance song too. That is a good song. I like that song. Especially when I'm really angsty. Although that like, unironically, they are a very good band. Even when I'm not angsty. Although they're just very, very good when I am angsty. That being said, that's probably true of a lot of music though. Here I go, getting all defensive about how I like MCR. How dare you? Uh, Zeratox also, thank you very much for the three months, Zeratox. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Ha ha ha, bad thing. Okay, I have to get away from that. Ah, there's another oh, I'm not going to get away from that one. Ooh, that was pretty bad spacing. At first when I was playing this game, I was like, why? Deliverance, uh... Scares release you immediately. Oh, this is pretty cool. Hang on a second. Uh, I guess that's technically called a scare. I didn't know the name of it. I was just calling it the ritual thing up until that point. All right, cool. The one thing, I, I should double check that a little bit more, but defense is going to be better than us. Health is kind of a double-edged sword because it's just like, is it really going to help traps deal increased damage? Uh, I'll take the more item level for drops still. Most of these are pretty good. Look at my chakra coming out of my hands, dude. Fantastic. I'm going to fire punch you. See, I don't feel like that's that great in a bit. What? <laughs> I just backed up into a trap. <laughs> oh no, it killed me instantly. <laughs> God, I'm doing so horribly. Actually, the duelist does seem like a really cool class, so I've been wanting to play this one. So you start off with katanas. Uh, you do a lot of whirlwinds. Every time you critically strike, your next sh strike will be a critical sh Okay, great. I feel like we've died from traps. No, nah, it wasn't in the last one. But we've died from silly stuff. Usually before I would die in boss battles, so I think I just need to be a little bit more... Eh, that's more or less like I said. I knew that by streaming this, I would be very, very streamer blind. Because when you play on your own, I was surviving two to three times longer. But I think it's when I talk when I play. I just don't play very well. Okay, so then so be it. So I'm bad at it. Let this be the first of the AA needs to get good at FPS games. I'm really not very good at them. The one thing that helped, I would say, was using like one of those aim training programs. Like I played with Kovacs for a while. Very good program. Uh, very amazing, very amazing. I think that was in one of the reviews. Somebody had like returned the product and they said this is one of those games that requires you to get good. What does that mean, like get good? L literally get good, like get better at it? But also with kind of like a, a cope if you can't or something. Yeah, playing solo is always easier. Yeah, why worry? Now, I don't really... The funny part is that I don't feel like that it really splits my attention. Although I just sort of tend to play like an absent-minded fool. I would be thinking my choices over a lot more carefully. Okay, this one looks cool. Oh, Jesus. What is this one? Probably looking into them a little bit more. Okay, so it doesn't have an ability. You see the ability there on the bottom if it has one. So they're just kind of cool. Look at these things. Okay, these things are pretty fast. Okay, so they just sort of are like a poke. I'm liking this. Dude, the duelist. Check this out. Check me out, man. Oh, God. Oh, no, another scare. Okay, now we know what to call it. Uh, everything. Again, you gotta get away from those things. I intentionally stepped on a bunch of them last night. So what am I doing now? Oh, every attack is a... is a spin. Man, this is so cool. Okay, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to get to this one. I just don't want to die from another trap for, like, a silly reward. Hmm. Kind of getting some Doom vibes if I'm really going back in time, too, you know? Like, the kind of small, claustrophobic, dungeon-y feel. I do believe that you can increase the field of view as well. Let me just try that for a second, because I said I we might do something. Field of view, field of view. 
Uh, gameplay, field of view, uh, where is it? Controls, audio, visuals, maybe it's under display. Yeah, field of view. Okay, we're gonna raise it to 120. So basically, this just, ooh, this is kind of disorienting, honestly. But it will probably help me avoid more traps. I think in real life you have around about 180 degree field of view with your peripheral vision. It's around about that. They say maybe even a little bit more, or is it less? I can't remember. Kick steel, 120% damage. Dismembering legs has a 10% chance to freeze nearby enemies. Field seems oddly specific. The health might help, but let's just regenerate these. Luck has 110. Defense has... Uh, since we die due to lack of defense, I say that we just take the defense. Just more... More of that, man. Yeah, get better with copium, that kind of thing. Isn't that, like, the idea? Isn't that what the kids say? Yeah, hold... Oh, the doom, doom shooter, hold the shooter. Like fast food, man. Okay, I think I like this even better. It probably will make you vomit even faster when you're watching the VOD. God, this... <laughs> this game is such a fever dream. Like... What is it? It's so crazy. <laughs> Again, one that is just sort of like, okay, cool video. Let me go try it. <laughs> what was this game for? I think it was like 20 bucks. I can't remember. I, th I think it's worth 20 bucks. I think that's a pretty good price for it. Okay, what would what would you guys put it at? Been out for a year now. I do believe early access. Oh, and all the also uh, I do like to disclose this. I did buy this game, although I what I'm generally doing now is I, I've just been very bad at answering. I'm just taking all of these things, not even looking at it. Um, they did actually send an email. I believe that they offered to sponsor a video for the game, and I was like, well, I missed that. I totally would have done it. I gotta check my emails, man, because I just bought this game with my own money. I'm like... <laughs> Although I, th I feel like that's a better endorsement of it, if it's just like, yeah, I've just I just like it. <laughs> How am I dead again? <laughs> what did I do? I just wasn't blocking enough. Wow, I feel terrible. I have just been totally screwing up this. Uh, I'm gonna go back and play as the mage and see if I can get in a really good run because I had my best luck as the mage. I think that just these other classes are very like weak. I'm just being very bad, man. Could still refund it. <laughs> I haven't been. No, I played for more than that. I. I still like it. I, I do like this game. I will probably go and leave a good review. Although there was a good review from someone who didn't re who refunded the game. He just said, I'm not good enough to play it. <laughs> I was like, aw, that's so sad. I think I'm going to stick with 90 just because it's what I'm used to. Okay, so you do actually retain a little bit. Um, armor has 110%. Uh, durability. Although I don't have enough money to get this from my last run, so... We could buy some health flasks, those are pretty cheap. And maybe like another durability potion, that would be a pretty decent way to start the run. Let's go to the cave, because I think we were getting slightly better luck there. Just, I don't know, man. How can I be helped? Let's see if we can get in one good run. Oh, look at this guy, he's like Torque in there. It's like a dance move every time you hit him. Jesus, man. Okay, doesn't this staff have like a... Oh no, slams enemies from a great distance. I'm not really... S I guess that's when I charge it. So can I do it from here? It's pretty good, but it doesn't hit him. Does it have pierce? It does seem that it has some pierce. I think I was walking into a toxic cloud there though. I, I, the reason I play the wizard is because I think the wizard is the most interesting class here because it just has so many different types of item upgrades. I think I took too many potions. Oh, I gotta be really careful with these things. Maybe I'll block when I... No, even blocking when I go over to them doesn't help. Okay, I'll spend a little bit. Give me a better ice staff. Yeah, just I lose so much health for... That really doesn't look like I should lose half my health bar for slightly touching the gear. 
I don't know, just some of these things, it's like... We, die, we died in dumb ways, but maybe that's just me. It does feel a little bit like you could use some more feedback there, though, you know what I mean? Rather than just like, oop, you're dead. I could see that causing a rage quit. You want to avoid rage quit, you know what I mean? Okay, let's get back into this. But I mean, the fact that I can... Ooh, you know, maybe I should have stopped time. That would be better. Yeah, in the future, I'll keep a time stopper with me. So that if I need to deactivate a trap, I could just stop time when it's swinging. Okay, that might work better. There we go. Critical thinking skills, man. Sweet. Oh, yeah, look at that. So I'm in the toxic cloud. And I'm losing health there. Avoid that. Okay, we can check it from over here. Okay, I'll take those. Thank you. Do not kill me. Please do not kill me. Okay, we're fine. Good. It's the goddamn guillotines. That are like slightly... I swear to... If I ran into one of these things in real life, I would be totally fine. I'd be totally fine. Like, maybe not run, but if I were just standing next to it, I would just slightly move. You know, I wouldn't, like, stand there and then lean into it like this protagonist appears to be doing. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, uh, next to a guillotine. Might as well die. Might as well die. What's on the torment path? Oh, I don't know. Let's go find out. Staves, uh, we've already had enough of those. Damage is increased by luck percent health. Nah, I don't like any of these either. Well, that's not bad. Hold more potions. Gain 1% health. Okay, I'll take just more attack power. That's what we want. Yeah, maybe I won't take so many challenges this time. Like, go a little easier on them, right? When we get up to a new floor. Uh, okay, now we know not to walk into the poison cloud. The one thing that I think could be a little bit clearer, and I don't really think this is something that needs to be changed about the game. No, no, no. Here, here's just another one of my stupid opinions. See, this is a cool room. This one's like two by three-ish, two by two by six or whatever it is. Yeah, this is a little more interesting for combat encounters. Sweeping boots. Perform roundhouse kick. Roundhouse, fantastic roundhouse kicks. Um, do you think we can do a roundhouse kick now? Wow. So maybe we won't take the challenge orb. Kill four enemies with a bash. Nah. Let's just not take it then. We just won't take challenges. Normal boy. Here I go, I'm just a normal boy. Dude. There's too many guillotines in this room. It's making me very, very uncomfortable. They do stop, though, when we stop time. That is fantastic. I will just take the non-guillotine path through the room. Okay, great. This is great stuff. Great stuff. Although now I can't say great stuff normally anymore. I spent the entire weekend spray foaming with a buddy of mine, expanding foam to try to create exclusions to keep the rats out of my crawl space. And now whenever I say great stuff, I just think of the expanding foam. Great stuff. Here we go, good armor. Great stuff, great stuff. <laughs> great stuff right there. Yeah. I don't know why I dropped the whole potion right there. That might've been a bit excessive. I think the ones with the horns may scare me. Stop time! Stop it! That is so cool being able to stop time, man. That is just sweet. Alright, take you, and then... Very, very cool. Very cool and nice. Hello, AA, are you having fun? Hey, Galaxy's Origin, I am having fun. How's your day going? Kill four enemies with a bash. 
I guess we shouldn't be using that uh, spin attack as much anymore. <laughs> I think that's a very cool way of creating tension. I'm a big fan of the scare mechanic. I think that it creates this like sudden sense of tension and urgency that... Really, when I was playing this game, I, I felt like that there it was a little... Okay, yeah, I did fail the quest, but whatever. Whatever. Attacks have... Okay, here we go. Yeah, baby. Ooh, parries grant invulnerability. One. Uh, I'll just take more attack, though. <laughs> feel like that's going to help even more. Just get insane attack damage. Uh, there was one game I didn't play on Twitch, actually, but I was really enjoying called Tiny Rogues. They just did a big update for it, and I might bring this out on Twitch if people want to see it. Great game, but I think they just nerfed one of my favorite combos in it, where you can create, like, absurd damage in the game. I think it was patched out, because I was playing, and I was like, this is way too easy. Uh, just two items I could use. I'm liking this Hellfire one. I'm actually not going to get rid of this. Oh, man. 140%. Okay, now we're dealing, like, nearly 200% damage. Nice. Ah. Didn't even get the Bastion. Did I add Steel Wool? We actually did. We added, uh... Well, we, we got, like, Wire Mesh. Because Steel Wool is very, uh... But you got the right idea there, though. That's steel wool. That's that's the stuff. Steel wool, they should really call the great stuff. You're right. Use great stuff to make a poop costume. <laughs> Honestly, that would be... That would be such a great use of great stuff. What a weird name for a brand. I, l I mean, I love their product. I just feel like it's so generic. Great stuff. Ah, uh, scare. Hang on a second. This is such a trap-filled room, man. What is this place? Okay. Hang on a second. I'll take those. Get rid of that. Okay, good. Got out of the way there. Ah, who are you? Get out of my life. All right, much better. Okay, we had a like a wave room right there. Cool, get rid of that. Ah, man, even just slightly like it didn't even have pendular momentum there. You know what I'm saying? Although it's kind of cool that it hits the enemies too. It makes you think that there would be like I haven't found it out yet. But what if there's a class that specializes in turning the traps against the enemies? You know. And this all happened in one room. I totally lost track of where I was. Do I have any more things to... I just want to get out of this floor. There's so many traps. <laughs> also, Axwin. Ugly Dumplin'. And uh, Anarcho. Thank you very much for the primes, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Ooh, Tiny Rogues is fantastic. Also, a uh, totally different game, but Dot Age. Pressing every floor plate will respawn all enemies... Uh, I don't really think that one's worth it. Ooh, that looks bad. Ooh, no, I accidentally just went into a block there at the last second. Didn't mean to do that at all. And now you all have to die. Bruh. Bruv. Oi, bruv. Oi. Okay. I think we're good. The larger the enemy, the more afraid I become. Some of these have interesting abilities. I should probably be staring at them a bit longer. Pocket Rogues. I haven't played Pocket Rogues. Maybe I'll check that out. Thank you. Got a lot of them on my list. I th what did I say? Dot Age. Yeah, very different kind of game, but I like it. It's like a... Got kind of an Agricola board game feel to it. A lot of good stuff came out at the end of uh, last year, or got a big update. What is our new ability? Slamming armor. Bash and punches. Damage increased by half of your defense. Uh... Helpful. 
maybe? Punch, not really. We aren't really doing any punching. Okay, cool. I finished one dungeon. Ah, successful. So where is Helena? Where is Helena? You aren't... No, you're Divino. Okay, so I actually have not met Helena yet then. Is Helena the statue? You can't really run or jump in this. At least as these classes. I mean, you can in certain channel... Uh, whoops. Here we go. Progress screen. Where is Helena? Oh, maybe you're Helena. Yeah. Helena. Okay, cool. Upgrade weapon. Okay, what is my better weapon here? Uh, the Icy good Blizzard evening, of uh. Vitality. Ah, good evening, Fancy Bus. Thank you very much for the 11 months. Appreciate you. How's it going? Anarcho, just discovered on YouTube with Project Zomboid videos. Can't wait to see more of the Twitch stuff. Am I ready to spread out my seed and build 42? <laughs> uh, of course I am. Of course. Wait a second. What the hell? Did she take my... She took my weapon. Oh, did I accidentally just say which one I wanted to get rid of? What have I done? What have I... What have you done with my weapon? Take the duct tape off of your eyes. Also, I gotta say one thing that I, I haven't really... Oh, here we go. Icy Blizzard of Vitality. Very cool. Oh my gosh, she just upped it by like 10 levels. That's crazy. Okay, I did not expect I would be getting quite that much. Uh, cool. Eh, you know, um... Uh, I said I would go, uh... I'm gonna try to get good. Uh... You heard it here first. Now, you do have, like, options to increase your health and stuff with money over here. So cool. This area of the forest, very cool area. I'm going to save it, though, if you really want to see it and you're bored of the other areas. You can skip ahead in the VOD, but I'm going to see if I can get through uh, a whole dungeon now because I need to be much stronger. If I go now, I will die instantly. I will die instantaneously. What is this area, though? Trial of Resolve. Yeah, I think I think we're better off going through the dungeon. You really you want to go through the cave or the dungeon... Then I guess you go to either Forest or Trial of Resolve. And then you go from there. The forest is so much harder, though. Oh, you found the AA. Wait, was that... Who... Didn't somebody make a mod with, like, an AA? They've done a couple things in it. An honor. To me, it seems as though this area... Actually, I can't really tell if the enemies level with you here. Just kind of feel like going at it with these ones. Man, just blocking into the freeze is such a brutal combo. I feel bad for them. Invulnerable during Whirlwind. There's such subtle different abilities with these. Successful blocks freeze the attacker. I already got that with the level 26 one. Hey, Kiyuki. Hey, Ki, Ki. I'm probably butchering your name. Sorry about that. Kiyuki. Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you guys had a good stream. We're good streaming. Sorry about this game's art style. It's pretty, uh. It will probably destroy your eyesight. Uh, but, you know, then you'll at least live with the memory of this incredible game as your last memory. I do really like it, though. I. I say that in jest. I do actually... Uh, do you guys like this game's art style? Like, just gut reaction. I'm kind of curious. Yes or no in the chat. Uh, everybody types, even if you're just a guy sitting on his couch with, uh, you know, with his, with his Nintendo DS in his lap. Even if that's you. Do you like it? I personally really like it, but you don't have to. You don't have to like it. I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of biased right here because... You're all people watching the stream. There's quite a lot of no's. <laughs> Mostly yes. <laughs> all right, that is that is interesting. Astigmatism. <laughs> yeah, astigmatism simulator. It's like one of those, uh, you, or you know when you go to one of those workshops where they try to like turn you sober and Puritan? 
I can't remember why I, I did one of these things. I think it was like a... I think it was like an anti... Drunk driving thing in college I had done. Or like some type of awareness deal. Where everyone supervised by a cop was wearing those like goggles to simulate what it looks like to be very, very intoxicated. I always felt self-conscious in those things because I'm like, why are the police giving us these goggles to make us feel intoxicated? Isn't that, like, am I, am I arrested for attending this workshop, you know? I'm trying to remember what job I had to do that for. I definitely had to do that somewhere. I can't remember what it was though. Be interesting if you could turn up or down the settings on these graphics a little bit. Personally, I, oh my god, what is happening here? How am I supposed to get past this? Ooh, oh god, I thought that was a good thing. Well, uh, saw that one coming. <laughs> Man, we had made it so far, why didn't I just jump off the edge? That was like the worst room, I have not encountered that one yet. Oh god, let's play as the Struggler. It's the only one we haven't played as yet. I know it's the most basic one, but maybe for starting like that, we'll get something happen. We've just died repeatedly. I'm gonna have to rename this Dying Repeatedly in Mortal Sin. Ugh, I really thought we would have something with the palette in there, man. Other thing, I, I'll just admit this, I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot right here. Uh, you know what, I'll go, for the, I'll go to the forest if I can, just I'll die instantly. I'm going to die again. But I want to show you what the forest at least looks like, since we previewed. Although we've gotten through so many of the classes in the game, and I think that's kind of cool. Uh, and we'll see if this is even relatively possible. <laughs> yeah, did you ever go to one of those workshops where they actually have you drink, like, <laughs> like a whole bottle of Jack? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't the workshop that I attended. <laughs> Ah, the enemies here are very strong, boy. Oh, this is kind of cool. Like a repeated attack with a cleaver. Axe of power. Okay, now we're talking. Wait, the axe doesn't... Well, what does it do, though? How does it work mechanically? See, this is very jarring. These things, like, sweep. Was that one of the pumpkin-headed men? Now, there's one enemy that summons other enemies, and it's very brutal. I guarantee you I'm going to die super fast. You're not even supposed to go to this area first, but this is the forest. I personally think it's a very cool area, and I wish it were a little bit easier so that I could... Ooh. But the traps in this part are so much harder to spot as well. This is the main trap, which does this. That's going to be way harder to spot. Like, if there was some type of ability that made me more immune to traps, that would be nice. God, look at me go now, though. I think we are the struggler class. What is our... Become invincible in game combo multiplier. Okay. Okay, I, I will take that. Just invincibility for a few moments. That's great. I can just charge forward in spurts. What is that? What is that? Never mind. I'm liking this mechanic. Ah, why are you looking at me? Stop. Not liking that so much. It's feeling like a, a blast from the past, though, and playing like a... Uh... You know, it's feeling like those old survival, like, kind of amnesia. I'm getting a bit of that vibe, you know what I mean? I feel kind of sad that I missed out on that old version of YouTube. You remember when people were playing survival horror games and yelling at the camera? I wanted to be one of the scared people, you know? I thought that looked like a fun like a fun kind of video to make, but when I started making YouTube videos, I, I was like 2017, so we were well past that era. And uh yeah, I was too bad. I was like I wanted I wanted I wanted uh people to I w I'm just going to say something very vain here. I wanted people to watch me being scared and be entertained by it. But I, I just don't really look that good when I'm scared. But, uh, nah, I don't know. I, I don't know what what is so entertaining. Membering legs. Health. 
Staves. We aren't really using any of that. I think I'd like to regenerate these critical strikes. Melee weapons, better durability. I'll take the durability, I guess. Uh, nothing particularly great there. I don't want to use up all of my money, though, right? It is a little bit... I'm trying to think. You might not... Re are there any other graphical settings, too? Because some people say their eyes hurt. You, one thing that might help would be to lower the contrast. That one might make it less... I wonder what that would actually look like. I'm just going to play that for a minute. Ah, uh, that makes it harder to read what's going on on screen, though. Do what you will. Wear special goggles. Maybe you try wearing the special drunk people goggles when you play it, you know? Maybe that would help or something. Ah, uh, 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 oh, what is that? Okay, now I do feel authentically scared, though, guys. Yeah, I don't feel like... I just feel like I, my facial reactions don't change very much. That's what I've decided. I even... I tried recently. I was, like, trying for, for another project. I had to film myself. <laughs> that makes it sound so much weirder, what I'm creating. No. <laughs> um, ah! Okay, that is a scare. I have not shown you a scare yet, but that's what happens. Very bad thing. I lost, like, all of my health right there. Anyway, yeah, I am incapable of showing normal facial reactions. I'm relatively well-spoken, for the most part. I, d I do think I am. I'm not the best at it, but I speak better than I look. I, th I think that one I, I can at least claim with some validity. Hmm, delimbed enemies may spawn a clone when hit. Don't like that. Nope. Screw that. Ah, oh, man. I That one I totally could have prevented. Who is that? He just looks like a guy who's having a hard time. What are these things? They're definitely going to kill me. Dude, we aren't going to stand it. Ah, oh, man. I was just about to wind up a swing. Man, we really... I've been dying repeatedly. All right. What do we have the most luck as? I think maybe Paladin tonight. They just don't make them the same way as they used to. The people have their Volvos from the 70s, and they're great like that, and that's cool and stuff. But we just don't get that level of Volvo anymore. My grandmother drove a Volvo. Why does everything go back to my grandmother? I don't know. She lived in better times. Actually, she lived in worse times. She lived through the Great Depression, and she pushed back in my father's two front teeth when they fell out. Strong woman, strong arms. She wasn't Swedish though. She was uh, she was Irish. All right, another floor, another dollar. But more likely than anything else, we will probably die again. Not my best performance in a game, generally speaking. I would say lately, this is subpar. I feel as though I should have some sort of battle cry whenever I go in with my spin attack, like um. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> it's the IRA. Here comes the IRS. How dare you? They play as an IRS tax collector, making his way into hell <laughs> to collect income tax from the deceased. If you, can, if there's one thing you can't avoid in life. It's death and taxes. And even when you're dead, you can't avoid taxes. Great game. Okay, I'm selling it. Don't steal my idea. No steal. No steal. I would play it. I... Come on, guys. Is... I play everything. Don't we? we do kind of play everything now if we're playing this. This is an economy manager's sale. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of boxes. Wow. Holy cow, I think I'm going to need some therapy for... Oh, God, I didn't even think this many items could be in a place at once. Wait, no, mine were better. All right, well, I'm, uh, I have a lot of issues now after seeing that. That was a very disturbing image. I do like the variation in all the encounters I've had in the next dimension. 
I'll be coming back. It's been an interesting experience. Maybe I'll bring a family member on vacation. Oh, Death and Taxes is technically a name of a game. I feel like that's such a generalized name, though, don't you think? Do they have that with games? Spells deal 110% damage. Uh, health has... You know what? Just the way our luck has been going, let's just take the health and defense. Because we've had no problems with offense. We've been great. Very offensive. I always offend people. Um, hang. Ugh. Dude, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Yeah, Vol didn't the Volvo brand get... Did they get sold? Is it in uh, Sweden that they still have the authentic ones? S enemies hit by traps will explode on impact. Although my friend drives a Volvo. Uh, ironically, the Volvo is in a shop right now, though, so I guess a case in point. It's too bad. I I want to like the Volvo, but... Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. I, I've never driven... The one that I can attest to is my grandmother's Volvo. That car lasted... You couldn't even see her driving the car because she had such bad, like, scoliosis. It just looked like no one was driving the car. Like, you know, get pulled over. And it's just a little old lady. <laughs> she lived to be... She lived to be 91. I gotta figure out what she did, man. Uh, what are my gloves right now? Trapping... Castus. Probably saying that wrong. Castus. Oops, I totally just used my ability. At least I can stand justified in the fact that, you know, I always hate it when about midway through the VOD, the guy dies. I always notice, like, nobody likes it when I die in the games. You know, I think we just go big or go home. We've had better luck when we just take whatever advantage it was. So I'm just going to mindlessly take all of the horrible things. Okay, so we gather up the enemies here. Oh, okay, and then we do a block. Hit me. I like it when you hit me. All right, everyone get ready. And pay your taxes. All right, fantastic catchphrase. I'm tax man. Man, it takes me so long to wind up a... Oh, no, I already had it. God. Okay, dropping two potions. Jesus. Man, nearly died right there, too. I think it's just that this item class is too slow. I'll swap back out the sword. I need to be able to wind up swings faster. I, I kind of go into panic mode. Like, I button mash when I'm... Surrounded by enemies. Ah. It's like a baby head or something, man. What is that? It's definitely not a baby body underneath the baby head. Ah. What, what is it? I also, I'm kind of curious to see this game. What it would have looked like. With the assets, the normal colors as they were. You know what I mean? Like, that that would be kind of interesting. Alright, I'll take the invulnerable during the whirlwind. That seems pretty good. Failed the challenge again. Yeah. Oh, now the American... We wanted... We know you should have kept Volvo. We don't want it. I don't think we use taxpayer money to buy Volvo. I mean, it was some horrible American corporation, probably. We don't like it either. <laughs> this is my problem. This is my problem with the internet. Sorry, it's not you in particular. I find that happens. Do you ever find that? No, although I, I don't think that now I'm... Maybe I'm creating a straw man argument here, or what do they call it whenever you exaggerate the other... No, it's not straw man. Can't remember. Ah, okay, I'm losing a lot of health from that. I'm just easily annoyed. Although I find that... 
people, t I, I've now kind of worked on the American trope very nicely in like videos. I'm, I'm more aware of it now. I'm more aware of it. Although sometimes, sometimes people think that we like everything in our country and that we're all 100% responsible for it. We don't like it here that much either. <laughs> there are things I like about the U.S. There are plenty of things. Although I wish you kept your Volvos and had sold them to us or whoever it was. I don't read, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is Volvos aren't the way they used to be. Are they? Yeah, what's the... Yeah, straw man... That's not straw man. What is the one where you, you take the other person's argument and you, uh... You, like, exaggerate it to mount, sound like something ridiculous like it wasn't? Like, if someone says something once, then you say, you always do that, or you think, you know... No, I can't... I, struggling to think of examples. Hmm. Oh, does Ford... Did Ford own Volvo? Fords are actually pretty... I didn't drive one full... Uh, I drove one for driver's ed when I drove one. I liked the Ford, actually. I liked the Ford I drove. Dude, I'm definitely dead here. Ah, come on, hit me. That is kind of awkward with this character trying to swap between what are you even doing now? Oh, he's going to try to kick me. I just don't have too much health here. I kind of... I'll take the extra stats here. I'm feeling like stats are going to win the day. How do we get to that enemy without taking damage, though? We need a... Ah... Nah, I don't think it's ga- I'm trying to remember what it is. Never mind, I can't remember what it's called. There might not be a name for it. Reductio ad absurdum. Ab yeah, absurdum, that sounds right. Latin. Dolce et decorum est. I know Latin too, bro. Lo- la uh, <laughs> Get good. <laughs> uh, no, no, that is- Alright, I, I should- uh, plus 7% health I'll take. I know it's increased enemy health, but whatever. Thank you, Silence. Do good. Appreciate you. Also, Lone Star. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate you. And Anarcho for the 50 bits. Gotta go to bed working early tomorrow. Hey, have a good day at work. Check out later. Hell yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, slow motion clap. Dude, that just backfired on him so bad. Or did... Wait a minute. Did it even at all? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so that backfired at him too, I suppose. I may die right here. I think this is the end. No, no, no! <laughs> no. Hit me now. Hit, strike me. And I will become more powerful than I had ever been. Or what, what did Obi-Wan say? Strike me now, and I'll call the cops. Look at him, he's such a... He's a scaredy cat. Okay, so he has that attack, and then he has the clapping his hands attack. I should have taken out the mace for that. I took way too much damage there. Dude, you have only one clap... Hand to clap with. This adds so much, like, wrong meaning to... What is the sound of one hand clapping? Alright, now I think I'm... What am I, invulnerable in my swing? Okay, does he turn into smaller versions of himself? No, he apparently doesn't. Well, he dropped a pretty sick weapon. Enchanted Morning Star of Vitality. Power Strikes trigger a magic blade spell. We'll see if I even get to use that. Alright, we'll sell the old thing I had. My old Morning Star. All right. Not bad, not bad.
feeling like I've gone through the same door five times. It is a little bit samey. Uh, it is very samey in the uh, presentation, I guess. Okay, we've made it to the end of this dungeon. Although, the one thing that I'll say is there are more areas to the game, although just when you suck at it like I do, you will have to replay the same area many times in a row. Let's take all the higher level stuff. Sweeping boots of power, fiery boots of protection. Uh, I'll keep the defense there. I mean, we are pa playing as a paladin. I think I will get to buy more potions, gauntlets of brutality. Hungering guillotine of power. Sounds pretty sweet, I'll take that. Okay, can I come in from the back? Yes. Amazing. Ooh, Helena, do you have anything for me? Nah, all right, whatever. Uh, what do we have? Uh, 1100, uh, health has a 130% multiplier, or, oh, we could probably get more stat gains over here. I mean, I would get some potions, but, oh no, it's 12,000, so it's more expensive. Oh, these are all more expensive as well, after you've done one dungeon. So at the very beginning, I believe that they're 750, but then they rise up in cost as you go through, because you retain your equipment from run to run, right? So they've got to keep it interesting. All right, you know what? I'm going to try one more try hard. I'm going to go through the cave one more time. Sustain a 2.5. Okay, so we got to round up a bunch of enemies. Okay, come on, everybody. All right, now i got to do a lot of swinging to see if I can get to 2.5 multiplier because I don't want to kill them all but I have to fight this guy off okay now I'm at 2.5 but all the enemies are dead so I guess I could have used a weaker weapon there <laughs> yeah that would have been the only thing I could have done yeah, I should have done that instead all right, whatever. Starting to get more of the subtleties between like the combo multipliers and stuff. At first I thought this game you were gonna be way stronger because I was like, okay, combo multiplier means you're gonna be doing sick damage. And there are some roguelikes that the second you start playing them, you just feel really strong. And like, then you feel way more overpowered by the time you get to the end of it. Okay, Let's see, are there any more enemies here so we can keep up that? Yeah, okay, so now can we get 2.5 times? Let's try to take out enemies one at a time. Uh, nope. Oh no, I did get it. Never mind. Cool. Sweet. Okay, so that logic did totally work. Um, hmm, other stuff. Cool. Can I open up these ones? Uh, do I want to spend money? Sure, why not? Recharging Morningstar of Haste. Re get your wizard oil. What is, what is wizard oil, man? Okay, that is just getting to be such a low-level item. What is wizard oil? Ew, that wizard got some of his oil on me. It was disgusting. You should report him to the police. Yuck. Ugh. Got that wizard aisle all over my hands. He told me to stick my fingers into his cloak. Greasy, dirty, oily old wizard man. I'll never put my fingers into your cloak again. Yikes. That's the last time I follow the advice of an old magician. Oh, man, I accidentally got into a scare. You're a wizard, Harry. Give me some of your oil. <laughs> ah, so many scares in this room, man. The leftover goo on the wizard when he cast a fireball on himself. What if life itself is pur uh, purgatory? Oh, there's a Tolkien short story about that. Where like this guy's life very gradually 
I can't really see the name of it because it sounds like something that would get me demonetized. It's not bad, but it, it sounds like it. I don't know why. It comes from his magical... <laughs> yes. Precisely. Precisely. Alright. Cool. Getting to the end here. Oh, I've been telling you guys about how I'd been getting, like, weird leg and back pain. So I figured out one thing today, and this was... It took me long enough to do this. My parents... My parents kind of became, like, hippies for food when I was, like, ten. They got really into it. I think it was a really positive thing that they did. But I remembered that my dad took these, vi like, multivitamins. And I was like, man... I don't know. It was great. Anyway, I've, like, rediscovered the nearby enemies are slowed by 6%. So now I'm starting a cult. <laughs> uh, uh, no, of course not. But there were these things I forgot about, and I went to a health food store. Solgar Mite Multivitamins. I was like, oh yeah, Dad used to take these. He's picking them up, though. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... <laughs> I've indulged in so much, like, bizarre stuff. It's so hard to get a goddamn doctor appointment in this country. And I just lost all my health. <laughs> Jesus, man. Jesus. I think I lost a lot of the item durability there, too. That's almost worse, is to lose your equipment than your health, man. Assuming you don't die. I gotta use my block more with this build. Okay, we, we aren't gonna die. We're just gonna look at it. And you know what? Now we're gonna go to the challenge. What is this? Okay, this is a kick jump dimension. I will just block that. Kick jump. Okay, Vitality, and what? Wu-Tang! Kick jump, uh, wait a minute, no, we didn't even need to do it there, and... God, these dimensions can be so good, you get, like, so many traits from them, man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Don't you believe it? I've got to go all the way down here, okay. And kick jump, what the hell are you doing? Be gone! Okay. Okay, cool, and lots of money, and then we get out. Sweet! Nice! That worked out pretty well. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, stay away. Just, you know what? Just full shield, man. You guys are gonna get yourself screwed up by these guillotines. If you just use the guillotines to your advantage, things might not be so bad. Look at them, just getting messed up over there. Oh no. Now I am the one being guillotined. You're an oil prince, Harry. Yes, you're a Saudi Arabian oil prince. Oh, God. Hagrid comes to Harry and tells him that he has inherited a fortune in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> You are an oil prince, Harry. Come with me to Dubai. Here we go. Woo. Lots of potions. Yeah, give me the challenge. I don't even care what it is. Okay. Uh. Mm. All right. I will go into one set of swings here. That is so cool. In it, me bruv. Oh, I guess those ones must drain weapon durability, so that's what that... Because I was wondering what this meant. They were like, there will be a mist. I was thinking, I don't see any mist when they die. So poison clouds and mists. Kind of cool, actually. Actually? Very exciting. Just sell all this. Sell... I don't know if I should have sold that. Hmm. Alright, I gotta go back into block boy mode. Ah! Ah, get me away from that. That thing's gonna drain all my health. The one thing I kinda question, though, a little bit... Eh, I still have yet to see other... It just, I can't, I'm always amazed by how much more infinitely skilled... ...people are at me than, uh, than me at FPS games. It To me, it just sort of feels like bashing mindlessly, but... 
Maybe there is something of value to that, you know what I mean? Hang on a second. Ah, I'm losing a lot of durability here. Ah, ah, no. Oh, I just lost so much there. That was terrible. It's probably the challenge. Oh, God. Yeah, spin to win melee weapons are quite fun, though. I think you need to kind of, like, plan out your attacks. It's kind of like one of those spin moves with Link in The Legend of Zelda, you know what I mean? Kind of giving me that type of, type of feel. Although, I mean, that's... I never really remembered Legend of Zelda for being very difficult in combat. Legend of Zelda games have these puzzles that you would never think of, like... Like, really well-designed, cool puzzles, but... When I was a kid, I just needed the Prima Guide. You remember Prima Guides? Like, the strategy guides you would get for a game? Man, those things were so much fun. Yeah, they're just taking more multivitamins. So now I take 40 multivitamins a day. <laughs> yeah, it was getting me thinking, though. You know, I, like... One thing I hadn't done for... Like, you know, they say red meat isn't so great for you. I don't know, I was just thinking, like, am I getting some kind of vitamin deficiency? I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I was like, why is my leg being all weird? Oh, I lost my helmet there. Man, we really took a hit to our weapon uh, durability. Ooh, this is kind of cool. So anyway, I, I realized, though, I was like, man, I really haven't been eating any meat. So I was trying to figure out if it's that. So I, like, just bought red meat. Oh, it tasted really good. And had, like, a burger in a long time. I always find it's odd, though, when people tell you how they enjoy the taste of meat so much. I think this... Okay, I'll make it slightly less weird. So I used to work in a restaurant. So part of our, like, shift pay, more or less, as it was. Like, if you worked a shift, you would receive... Uh, what is better here? You know, I'll actually take the... Nah, I think my other one is better. Get better essence gains. So at the end of the shift, you would get, a, like, a burger, or you get lunch. You could order something off the menu, um, as long as it wasn't fish, because I think that was very expensive for the restaurant orders, owners to order. Uh, and I would always get a burger made, because the, the head chef was just really great at making burgers. And I developed a taste for, well, for human flesh. No, I'm not going <laughs> to... We're not going to go down the... Um, Silence of the Lambs road here, unfortunately. No, I developed a taste for a good rare burger. Is, am I gonna die now? Man! Dude, this guy just does not let up. Oh, can he even see me? Here. Ah! Oh my gosh. They're so small and cute. I don't even want to fight them. I'm probably going to back up into a trap here. Bruh. Bruv. Oh, man. That was nasty. I'm still not even done with them. That was a really difficult fight. Jesus. That was great. Okay, so I like the taste of Rare Burger now. It's so good. Which is really too bad, because a Rare Burger is the one that is most likely to... If you don't do it enough, you can do some damage. That's not so great for you. But yeah, here I am, enjoying the wonders of red meat again. It's too bad, you know, I'd, I'd thought, like, no animal... And in general, you shouldn't have so many animal products, you know. Mostly plants, good diet for you. So they say, that's the common wisdom, you know. But, uh, it's too bad, you know. But that's how we were, I guess, evolved, right? I don't know, I, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'll take a 200% multiplier. Sign me up. Sign me up, babe. Someone hit me now. I have only three more seconds. Very annoying. Oh, now you hit me. Oh, I'm dead. Ugh. Man, I just got locked into one of those things. New color palette to the Mad Realm. What could that mean? Go Paladin again. What does that mean? 
genuinely curious. I don't know what that is. I guess we're going to find out. Um, that is to say, uh, I'll just point out one other thing right here. So basically, we did not get it, but this game is a quest to obtain absolution, which something or other happens when you do that. Uh, go find out. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for myself, but as you do come back to this central hub area, you start to unlock more of these. Like, I didn't have these things. We didn't have these when I was a kid. I do seem to have... I'd have to double check with how much money I had when I died there, but I do start out with 17545 so I can get an upgrade for the next one, which I think, like... You know, I know it's not a true roguelike unless if you fully reset from one run to the next. I'm pretty sure that's, like, the definition of roguelike. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, anyway, that's... Am I, am I wrong about that, chat? I think that's the one I go off of. Like, where the game fully resets every single time. Like, you just basically... What you grow with in a true roguelike is the knowledge from the run before. Um, is that right? No, roguelite is when there is a like a, a major meta progression system, and like from run to run, the game the game actually just gets easier because your character is getting stronger. At least as yes, yes. So this is more of a roguelike in that case. Um, yeah. Wait a second. I now I have to double check that. Rogue like rogue like versus rogue light. Okay, for once and for all, rogue like games take to heart, which means they're significantly more difficult. Rogue genre is famous for its uh this is from pockettactics.com from Reddit. Uh rogue like features permadeath. Yeah. Yeah, most most of them have kind of gone in the direction of the rogue light, where you like from run to run. Oh, now you can buy this bonus. I do like a little bit of that, but not tons. Where it's like I couldn't have even beaten this on the first run because it just got so much easier. So, anyway, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, but this game is pretty tricky. Uh, I definitely think this is worth a look. You know, if you've made it this far and the art style intrigues you, it's probably be something that you would like. Um, what I never really pointed out was the music in this is great. Great, great music in this. Uh, but finally, now we're hearing a little bit of it here in the hub. Um, but yeah, I, obviously, if you are find the graphics too jarring, you probably have left it by now. But just like a very kind of terrifying game. Uh, kind of reminds me of Blasphemous in a way, in that uh, same sense. But I don't know. Cool stuff. Um... I, I'm pretty bad at it, so I don't know if we'll see me coming back here unless if I really get better at it, but uh, I mean, that's pretty consistent with Reese. It is difficult, so be ready for a difficult game. You're going to die a lot. Um, but I, I honestly like that. Uh, I wish I'd gotten in a better run, but yeah, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm happy with what I did. <laughs>